I'm happy to announce this is my commitment on January 20th, 2025, if I'm elected the next U.S. president, to pardon Donald J. Trump for these offenses in this federal case. And I have challenged, I have demanded that every other candidate in this race either sign this commitment to pardon on January 20th, 2025, or else to explain why they are not. That man is everywhere and is here with us now. 2024 GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy promising to pardon President Trump if he, Ramaswamy, is elected. Looks like to me you're trying to pull some Trump supporters into your camp. Well, that's right. America first is <laughs> what you do. That, that's exactly right. We're running to win the full election, starting with the Republican primary and then move on to the general. But I'm doing it, Stuart, in some of the ways that Trump did in 2015 by speaking truth unapologetically, by being unconstrained by what some political consultant or donor tells you to say. I mean, totally unconstrained and speaking out on my beliefs. And the truth is, America first, it does not belong to Trump. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the people of this country. And the question is, who's going to take that agenda to the next level? In many ways, this politicized prosecution against Trump, which I think is wrong, is the best evidence that we didn't solve the problem of the administrative state and its corruption. And so I think if you roll that log over, you've got to bring the pesticide. That's what I'm bringing to the table. The pesticide. Yes. That's a very inflammatory talk there. Yeah. Uh, how many of your donations come in the form of Bitcoin? You know, it's actually, we only opened that up relatively more recently, so i got to take a look at those numbers. We did get a good number after I spoke at that Bitcoin conference. Mm. We're, at, we're at close to 50,000 small-dollar donors, unique, unique donors small through the Small dollars website. as opposed to Bitcoin. Yeah, it was I, small I amount. The Bitcoin small is amount. kind of fading. Uh, cryptos are kind of yeah, fading. Yeah, I have to look at the numbers uh, to see how much has come through, so I think that the majority are normal dollar donations for sure. Got Today. it. Now, there's an op-ed in the Washington Post, and it reads, and I'm quoting right okay. now, Vivek Ramaswamy runs on the unlimited optimism of the inexperienced. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that was a nice one. What do you say? You know, I think that I think it was uh, I just read that piece this morning. I actually had breakfast with George Will, who wrote that piece last week. So I think it was based on our conversation that he wrote it. I don't reject that characterization. You know what? I don't have experience as a politician. I think that's a good thing. That makes me the outsider in this race. And if we're looking at taking on the things that I'm looking to take on, dismantle the administrative state, actually declare economic independence from China, revive national pride. I don't think an experienced, that is to say, professional politician sure. or career politician is going to get those things done. If they were, it would have happened already. I do think it's going to take an outsider, and that's why I'm in the race. Well, you are an outsider. I want to know how far of a, how much of a traditional Republican you are. Mm -hmm. I think of traditional Republicans as definitely small government, yep. but also much lower taxes. Is that what you're looking for? Well, that's definitely part of what I favor, right? I have strong seated small government libertarian instincts. Small government, low taxes, a low flat tax system across the board would be desirable. You're a flat tax guy? I'm a low flat tax guy, actually. Low flat tax guy. I'm an economic growth guy. So you want to talk more broadly about economic growth, unlock American energy, drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear, stop paying people to stay at home, solve our workforce problem that way, reform the Fed. I'm a, I'm a single mandate guy. Stabilize the U.S. dollar. Forget the dual mandate. Dismantle the administrative state, reform the tax system. I think this is how we actually stimulate economic growth for the country, something we haven't seen in a long time. You're a genius. I mean, you can go through the entire campaign platform in about 45 seconds. That's really very good. I don't know where you get your energy from. Uh, Stuart, I, I'm back at you. <laughs> you're, you're an energetic <laughs> great, guy as well. Great to have you on the show. Vivek, come and get and see us soon, please. It's good to see you.